up? What's going on, everybody? What's up, everybody? Charles Macro here today, back again, jumping back in the fishing planet. How everybody doing today, man? We ain't gonna even wait on the whole little countdown, man. We gonna we gonna jump on into it and do it, so we can get going. Yeah, man. How's everybody been today, man? What's up with ya? Who is here? Who's here? What's up, Brandon? What's up, Sleep? What's going on? Wolf Boy, what's good? What's up, OB? OB. Hey, Stream Life. That's right. You. What's up? What's up? How's everybody? How's everybody, man? Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for being the first ones in here rocking with us. We gonna get to it and do it, man. Um, I am at St. Croix still. I'm basically doing the 30 days, so... It's probably going to take a couple of days to do this. Wednesday is like a busy work day. And so I ain't really have a lot of time to grind. Even though I be working, I got like a couple computers. So I'll have fishing planted with the feeders on one while I'm editing and doing my work. And with the feeder go off, I might jump over there and reel it in. But I ain't have a lot of time. I had a lot of stuff I really had to work on. So, hey, yeah, no, yeah, no. What up, Musty Musky? <laughs> <laughs> what's up callers how you doing how you doing what's up dragon hey look i'm working on that too dragon trying to get the level of 54 as well i'm 52 i'm working my way up working my way up we getting there b what's up b what's up there brethren what's up brethren hey thank you for stopping through thank you for stopping through i'm gonna go ahead and get this license guys while we uh while we do our uh our our welcomes our pleasantries as they call it I got to get, because St. Croix is one we got to work, I got to get this license, man. I either got to grind up and, and win a lot of tournaments and get me way more bait coins. I'm going to just have to buy some bait coins. And uh, since we got people supporting, shout out, salute to my elite members, man. Y'all are the elite family, but shout out to my members. Shout out to my patrons. Because of that, I can do a few things, so I might go ahead and get some coins to unlock some of these so we can fish more you know i gotta make sure i can get to these uh lakes for y'all so um yeah man but it's eight g's whoo i made it though i was at about 500 i went to san joe quinn for a tournament came back here i was at like five uh 480 or something so i made the money back i've been grinding it back up i'm trying to get to about 600 before i leave here over this 30 days but even if i don't it's okay we actually got a couple um uh, tasks we've been trying to do i've been trying to get this jig bait brown trout and i also been trying to get this pike hunt done i cannot catch these doggone muskies to save my life i caught one earlier but it was like two pounds too light so we're gonna put that one on the menu and we're gonna get that done let's see sleep brandon blue crab okay um yeah i'm at saint croix i'm at saint croix um i'm gonna go ahead and make a friend's room if you on pc come on through i understand everybody on uh, different systems but, yeah, if you're on PC, come on through, and we'll do what we do. Yeah, man, hit that like button on your way in. Like, subscribe, share. Do all that good stuff. Feed that YouTube algae rhythm. <laughs> algae rhythm. We're going to see if we can get them in the rhythm. Hey, all right. I'm right here. Set up, set up. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get on the boat in a minute. We're going to go ahead and set up, see if we get any hits real quick. And if not, you know what, no, because we at the peak time. We at the nine peak time. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to a peak time. In fact, I'm going to go ahead to the next day. Oh, that's a, ooh, I don't like that next day. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's see. You got 30K for St. Croix in one day, one time. Ooh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, B, you know how it is, man. You know how it is. I don't like this peak, so we're going to skip another day. Ooh, two Gs. Oh, oh, that hurts. I made 25, though. Made 25, no premium. They let you know, too, no premium. That premium, woo. Look at that. It's almost with like a 75% bump. You almost double. Not quite double, but it's a big bump. Maybe like 60, 65%. That's me doing quick math. Uh, let's see. This is a better peak. It's a little bit better. Eh. I'm trying to find a good peak. Uh, let me see the week. 
I think you can see the forecast for the week. Okay, day 10 got a much better peak. I want to I wanna utilize that to get those um, muskies. See if I can get that muskie. Get that musky. That musty musky. Let's see how much it'll cost if I do this. See, 10 minutes, uh, five minutes. We can go ahead and throw this out here for five minutes. See if we get anything. And then we'll go ahead and, and jump to the next day if don't nothing happen. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Did you get the algae rhythm from Space Jam, the newest one? <laughs> hey, I saw them talk about that. I didn't um I didn't watch the movie. I saw a lot of like reviews and, and discussions on that new Space Jam. And I did see that it was called well, algae rhythm or something like that as well. Yeah, man. I heard that that wasn't the best movie. Not that the first Space Jam was the, the greatest movie in the world either. But it was new. It was innovative. And as we know, MJ the GOAT. Y'all can argue that if you like uh, <laughs> in the comments. But um, so when he did it, it was something new and different. To kind of copy the same thing, it's kind of like, eh, yeah, no. But anyway, anyway, yeah. I saw they called them IG Rhythm. I thought that was funny. Let's see. Use a six. I, I will do that. I'll try that out after um after we throw a few of these out here, see if we can catch some pikes. I use the Aox with the pikes to just try to filter them out. It get me it get me always trophies. Sometimes I get three, four, five uh trophies back to back to back. And if nothing else, they always bigger than about eight pounds, which is a good size. That's pretty sizey. Look, we going already. We going already. Let me hurry up and throw this out here for another one go off. They go off like that. Oh, man, I figured out the hot key for the controller, too. I knew it was a hot key, but I couldn't remember. There is a controller hot key. If you hold the, right, the left bumper and then use your D-pad, they correspond with up, right, down, left, one, two, three, four. That saves a lot of time if you're using a controller. Use your hotkeys. Use your hotkeys. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Six aught. Um, and I do have a six aught too. I got a four aught. I was using this four aught. I got a four aught um X series, and then I have a six aught regular, regular schmegler. Let's see, callers, you still trying to get that Amazon pack? Man, that Amazon pack is the way to go. You can only get it once, but it's the way to go. I got my use out of it. It got my level up. Um, I wish I could have just dedicated, like, the full time there. But as you know, you know, we got to keep it interesting. We got to go to some different lakes, you know, do some monster missions and things of that nature. So I would just kind of do it off stream, and I wanted to save it till we did that, that last one. But, um, yeah, when you go there, stay there all day. Look at that. We got us a trophy. We got us a trophy. Yeah, stay there and just grind it out. And you can go up 20, 30 levels if you really got the time to sit there and grind like most of us pro angler, fishing planet men do. Yeah, you can really make you some change and get your levels up. You can make millions there easy, easy. Let's see. Don't watch that trash can. Yeah, I ain't watch it, B. I ain't watch it, man. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Let's see. You kind of liked it because it was like the movies back then in 2012. Yeah, the original um, The original was straight. If you're talking about the new one, I still got to watch it. I mean, I can't fully judge it because I haven't seen it. But just from everything I heard and the, and the stuff I watched, the previews, the acting and all of that, yeah, yeah, no. It need a little help. It need a little help. AG, what up? What up? Let's see. Have I got the Terra Tarpon? Yeah, I got the Terra Tarpon Dragon. I caught that on one of our streams um, at the Everglades. I had to do. I had to go back a couple times to get it. The first time we went there, it didn't bite. We were doing um, we were doing a lot of the mission objectives, the exploration, and then I did the uh, went for the Terra Tarpon, didn't get them. 
But when we came back on the next stream, I got them um, like fairly quickly. So yeah, if you hadn't seen it, um, I I did catch it on the stream. Hey G, what's going on? What's going on, Michael? What's up? What's up? What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? Let's see. How do I put down my rod stand in the Everglades? Uh, it was easy to get. Yeah, it was easy, but it would not bite. I mean, we sat out there all night and we did not get a bite. Look at that, another trophy. Nice, nice. Um, the tarpon, but I caught like a hundred snooks. But I did not catch that doggone uh, Terra Tarpon. But the next day I came back and maybe like, it still took about 20, 30 minutes. I moved a little bit, but I caught them. And it was all gravy. Um, how do you put down your stand in the Everglades? You cannot use that red stand. It's like a, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, because it's like the only stand. You can use the stands before it, and you can use the stands after it, like the three. But... Uh, I even read up, looked in forums and all of that. It's something to do with, like, you got to use the green stand or something. Or if you got the stands that are hold three or hold four, um, you good. But, yeah, you cannot use the – um, you cannot put down that red two-ride stand in the Everglades. It's like a glitch. It's like a glitch. So, yeah, if you're trying and it ain't working, that's why. You really just going to have to get a different stand or not use your stand there, which stinks. I think they said get the green one. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all know about that for show for show. But I think it's the green one that you got to use. All right. Hopefully the sun will come out at six. I'm going to try to get that. Um, I'm going to try to get that musky. Get that musty musky. Let's see. Maybe it's a level thing. It might be. Um, again, a lot of what I read, a lot of what I saw, people were just kind of complaining that like, it ain't, it's like a glitch because everything else works. All the other ones work or, or it's like only certain ones work. So I don't know because they work, it works everywhere else. But yet at this one lake, the one stand does not work. Yeah, I, I think it's just a coding glitch that they just choosing not to fix. Oh, dog on it. I was finna pull this one up the uh let's see, two. I was finna pull this one up the to, to reel them back in and recast. And this fella went off. Come on in. He seemed a little light. Yeah, he seemed a little light. Ten pounds though, that still is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, not bad at all. Let's see, you wait for a gator to put. <laughs> hey, you might see a gator too. Hey, we was catching these uh garby. They got these uh fish called gar. And they got a couple of them that look like a gator, the mouth long, and it got teeth that's barracuda-ish. Take off a limb. Or at least leave you with a nub. Leave you with a nub. They do not play. Let's see. It's because of the dock. You can't put it down. Yeah, but again, you can put it down on every other dock. Like, I had that same stand. I know which uh, stand he's talking about. I had it for 20, 30 levels for, like, months. And every other lake you go to, it works. It only doesn't work at the Everglades. <laughs> right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Fish. Let's see. You found out how uh, low the line is supposed to be for match rides. Your hot spot at Emerald is 50 inches. Okay. Hey, Sleep got a hot spot in the Discord. If you come through the Discord and, yes, yeah, 50, you said 50 inches. 50 inches is the depth that you would need to use to get that spot. I think when I was using it, I was around 50. I was somewhere between 40 and 60. And it was, it was hitting pretty well. And, uh, oh, and the other thing, though, um, the glitch only works on the dock. So you can put it down in the grass. Now, I don't know how much grass there is on the Everglades, but you can put it down, like, around the side. 
Let's see. You still waiting for your Amazon pack? Your mom said tomorrow. So at 12 a.m. on the dot, you're going to ask. <laughs> hey, don't push it now. You don't want to mess your chance up. Don't mess up your money. Don't mess up your money. <laughs> but good luck on that. Good luck on that. Hopefully you will get it and everything turns out well. Ah, uh, okay. Look like they drying up a bit. They drying up a bit. I really was trying to get this musky. I'm gonna probably fast forward, jump on the boat, and um, see if we can get them from the other angle. Cause I believe it got to be sunny out. Right now we only got this uh, this dark rain. So I got to see if the sun come out at six. Let me look at this forecast. Thanks, Bull Rush. Uh, look like it's rainy all day. It might be worth it to just go ahead to the next day. Yeah, it's sunny all tomorrow. And it might clear up around 7. Let me pull these up. Let me pull these up and we'll see uh, what we get. Let's see, you back in school, so it's going to be hard to upload because your mind is important. It's important you're in school. Hey, school is always important, man. You definitely always got to focus on that. That's your priority right now. So, yeah, you definitely want to keep that at the forefront. Do well and, and get on up out of there, you know, and prepare yourself for your future. Uh, let's see. Can you make a fishing planet hotspot section? Yeah. Well, I mean, I got the, uh, like the tips, the tip section. So, I mean, you can put it in there, but, um, I can see about making a hotspot channel in the discord. We'll see about that. Uh, let me. Wow, I cannot forward for 45 minutes. What? I would have went on and skipped to the next day. Oh, they got me. They got me. All right, we finna go for some catfish. They got me. They got me. I'm going over here to this other spot then. And I'm gonna also see if I can get my brown trout while we over there. Yeah, premium makes a huge difference. I will say that premium makes a humongous difference. You definitely feel it. <laughs> and once you get it and you try it and then you got to deal without it, it's a huge difference. Uh, let's see. We going for this. Where is it at? Where is it at? It's that little, here we go, this little spot in the water. This little raft thing. All's ashore that's going ashore. All right, we're going to set up here. I feel like these catfish going to hit. Even though they're a little heavier and pike still the better money, we're going to go ahead and, and sit here for a minute, see if we can get some of this time to go by. Uh, I believe the catfish are better with... I believe these cats do better with large minnows. I want to see if they do cut bait, though. Let me see if it's something else that I, that'll attract these before I use all my large minnows. Uh, this blue catfish. Oh, I forgot Atlantic salmon here, too. Ooh, we might find a salmon spot. Find us a salmon spot. Mmm. Minnow, small minnow. Well, yeah, they would have popped up right there. I got to find out where the salmon spot is. Large minnows, crawfish. I got crawfish too, medium cut bait. Large minnows, medium, and crawfish. I was using shiners right here, but it was only attracting um, 
It was attracting a different fish. What was it attracting? I was using shiners right here. It was getting either walleye or bass. I forgot which one it was. We're going to throw out both of our feeders. Let me put my feeder on this end, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Five. So I got minnows on this. We'll try crawfish on this one and see what it do since I done bought these crawfish. They was a little pricey, too. A little pricey. Call of the Wild got new maps on the console. That's pretty straight. Let's see. Sleep. You waiting for Black Friday. Yeah, you can always find some good deals. Some good deals. Hey, what up, Wolf? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Oh, look. I'm saying that. I thought you were saying, what's up, Wolf? <laughs> Oh, my bad. You said you're trying to fish that white moose, but your internet won't stop acting up. Got you. Hey, got you. Yeah, I can't stand that. I have that issue every now and then. It'll keep trying to, like, not log you out, but it'll keep uh, refreshing and doing weird stuff. I'm going to go down to 60. See if we get a hit right here. Uh, when is Black Friday? Because the Amazon pack might be cheaper. Uh. Man, I wanted they they need to let me buy the Amazon pack again. That thing already getting hits. Uh, let's see, you got this shad. I need to catch this. Catch me a brown trout on a grub. We're gonna try this grub. What? It's too short. Let's see, November. Catfish eat just about anything. <laughs> Put a puppy on the hook. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, you right, though. You right. Hey, what's up, Ness? What's going on? Ness, how goes it? How goes it? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, man. How you been? How you doing? Oh, nah, we getting a hit. We getting a hit. Which one was that? Ah, oh, it's teasing. It's teasing. Come on back. Come on back. All right, what lake y'all fishing at, guys? What lake y'all fishing at? Let me know. What game are you on? What are you playing? Oh, what you been on? I'm going to let this grub sink. This actually, the hook might actually be too big for this grub. I might need to change my hook. Oh, yeah, I got a nibble. Uh, yeah, I got to change this jig head, though. I think this one is too large a, uh, a hook size. So you have to go. You got school in the morning. It's 1035. Everyone stay safe, you and your family. Hey, thanks, callers. Thanks, callers. Hey, take it easy. Get you some rest. Have a great day at school, man. Do well. Knock out all that work, your studies, the whole nine, man. You got it. We'll see you on the later on. Let's see, blue crab, all good here. Just sat down for a break at work. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, enjoy that break. <laughs> you know, sometimes they be far and few in between, so enjoy that. Uh, I'm going to try this four-ot jig head. This quarter ounce might be too light, though. But this one and a half ounce going to be too heavy. Uh, let me see if they got a four art in the shop that I could buy. That's a lightweight. Uh, let's see. They got the eight art. That's a quarter ounce. That six, seven ounce would do good. Nah, nothing I can really use. They got this six, but that's real heavy. Uh, yeah, that's too doggone heavy. Oh, well. Brandon on that blue crab. Ace, what's up, Ace? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it, my man? There we go. What you been up to? Hey, banging. What's up, Bonzo? 
How you doing tonight? You a new player? What DLC should you get? They all seem pretty good. Let me see. Um, it's quite a few good DLCs. We got a lot of folks with some different uh, recommendations. Guys, what DLC do you recommend? Let me ask you this. If you just trying to get started, get you something that's like, you know, a good price, $5, 10 get you some good, um, you know, a few good rides to get going. I believe a lot of people say the sports pack is good. The bass pack is good. Um, there are a few good ones. If you got some change that you're trying to spend and you really want to level up, so you might want to learn the game a little better if you knew, though. I say go to the Amazon. That's like a great pack. But if you knew, kind of learn the game first. But, yeah, the, uh, the Amazon pack is great. The Carnival. Those are really good joints. Hey, what's up, Joshua? How you doing? How you doing? Say so you got an exam in 30 minutes. Just checking in. Hey, appreciate you checking in, man. Do well on that exam. Look, we sending you good vibes. Hold on. You will do well on the exam. You will ace the exam. You will ace the exam. Uh, you got it, man. Let me know how you do. Let me know how you do. Going to ace that thing. Let's see. Ace, uh, use barbless hooks for your other rides. Uh, it makes a difference. Okay. Shoot, I didn't know if I had a barbless in here. I mean, I think I do. I think I do. I'm going to reel this one in and see. Ace, just got you a record bull shark. Nice. Those bull sharks is good money. Good money. Hey, what's up, Julian? What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, the saltwater match pack. That's another good one. That's another good one. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I do got the barbless four arc. Like I said, I believe it's extra XP, but at the same time, I might switch back because I want to still get the largest size possible. Or the largest size possible. But we'll see what it do. We'll see what it do. Throw this out. Let me check this mission one more time, too. Let me check this mission. I'm just switching back and forth. Uh, it's the trophy trout. Brown trout, 6-7 with a grub jig. Okay. We'll go back to that there. Bang, you was leaning towards the saltwater pack for sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I actually threw a poll up. If you go to my community tab on, my, uh, on the YouTube, on the homepage, I threw a poll up. And um, asked what was the best DLC, because a lot of folks have been asking about the DLC. Ah, oh, man, I thought I changed my dog on. So if you want to check that out, it's a lot of uh, people casted a lot of votes, gave a lot of their recommendations. So you could check that out. But the Saltwater Pack was one that came up a couple times. So if that's one you was looking at and leaning towards, I think that's a good one, um, if you're interested in it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dog on it. Let's see, quarter ounce, four ounce. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one and see. It might be too heavy for this fish I'm going for, but we're going to try it anyway. Ace, nah, I'm not on Xbox. I'm on PC. I'm on Steam. Steaming it up. Steaming it up. Owen, what's going on, Owen? How you doing? How you doing? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there it is. Nice little hit real quick. A nice little hit. This could be a walleye. It could be a bass. Um, but we hoping it's this brown trout I've been trying to get. What is it? Yeah, smallmouth. Let's see. Are you uh, fishing for blue catfish? Up. Oh. Up. Oh, there we go. Ah, doggone it. It teased. Oh, it got it. There it is. It got it. Uh, blue catfish, uh, you use the barbless for art with large cut bait in the same place. Got some nice uniques and trophies. Okay. I'm going to rock with it, guy. I'm going to rock with it. Y'all recommend it. I like to try it out and use it, see what it does. So we'll see what it does. Let's see. Do I ever stream any tactical RPG games? Um, Not really. And I like RPG. Um, some of my Some of my strategy or survival games, my bad. The survival games I play are kind of strategy, uh, tactical-esque, because they usually have, like, 
base uh, uh, what do you call it? Base defense elements, you know, where joints come and raid. Kind of like when I used to play Imperion a lot. Um, but we got a few joints. Even Green Hill, I think that once you get to a certain point, you start getting raided by the natives and stuff like that. So I got some survival joints that have a little technical element to them. I need to play, what was my game? I need to play Medieval Dynasty. I hadn't played that in a minute. They did some more updates to that game. But yeah, do you got any uh, tactical RPGs that you familiar with or that you recommend? Let's see, you on Xbox chilling. Hey, that's what's up, sleep. Sleep on Xbox. And I got the Xbox, I just don't, you know, I, that's just not the uh, what I play on. I've been playing on here so long. I made an Xbox account and never, uh, I think I started it, but only made it to like the tutorial stage. I never really made it any further than that. Uh, I might miss that other one. Oh, oh, I'm trying to get this jammy up. He heavy. He heavy. Come on in. Come on in. I'm trying to get this other fish. Trying to get this other fish. Let's see. Use the crankbait for the brown trout. I'll do that. Um, I'm trying to do this mission, though, dog. The strike timed out. Man, come on, fish. I know you a catfish. Catfish the heaviest joint over here. Oh, this a big boy. Look at him. Look at him. Oof. Oh, man. That's a big one right there. Big mama jamma. Let me see how he doing. Let me see how he looking. Oh, man. Why the catfish eyes got to look like that, though? He look all surprised. Why they do that to the catfish? I'm sorry about that, catfish. All right. Let me uh let me <laughs> let me go back and check this one in. We lost your lost your mate. We lost your mate. Uh, let's see, any PS4 gamers? We got some uh, cats who on the PS4 as well. I'm pretty sure of that. We got some Xbox cats and some PS4 cats. So y'all can definitely uh, link up if you're trying to find somebody to play with. Again, I'm on PC. At some point, guys, I don't know when it is. At some point, I am going to get on Xbox. I looked it up on the PC. I think I got to go on the Xbox console. I looked it up through my gamer uh, Xbox Gamer Pass in the store to see if I could, you know, find Fishing Planet. But it never came up. Pro Sim World Fishing came up and all these other fishing games came up. Fishing Planet didn't. So I guess I got to go on the console and maybe to show up on my PC because they said you can play cross on the PC and the console because basically it's like you're just playing on console. So uh, we'll see. And my PS4 as well. I started to start it, but I didn't want to play it without a... Uh, you know, making some videos. So I'm going to probably stream those when I do start over. Do like a fresh start type of series and kind of see what we get. Let's see. You see 2K dropping one in the spring. Uh, Marvel Midnight Suns. Uh, looks pretty dope, but it is 2K. So, yeah. Yeah, 2K used to, when they was under different ownership or management, try to just make great games. Now they try to make uh great monetization models <laughs> uh masquerading as a game yeah that's all they do now hey what's up attack what's going on what's going on what's going on let's see you on the lowest peak and still catching tons of walleye yeah that's the thing about emerald lake you don't even have to worry about the peak honestly you might catch more during the peak but when you at Emerald Lake, just throw that thing out there, and you'll catch them all day long. Skull, what's up? Skull Rush on PS4. Banging like Bonzo on PS4. There you go, Brandon. It's a few people. And we got more. They might not be here today, but we got more on the PS4. More on the PS4. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know I was rhyming those words. <laughs> um. Let's see. Yeah, if you're on Xbox, you can find Fishing Planet on the top 10 for free. Okay. Yeah, again, I got to probably log into my system because when I did it on the computer and pulled it up, it didn't come up. Let's see. You got to have it through Microsoft Windows 10 app or your PC. Ah, the Windows 10 app. Okay, I got to try that. I think I was must have been doing it through the wrong module. That's good to know. 
All these catfish heavy. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, shout out to my guy, Jim. He was telling me that I'm using a, uh, and you know, we might try this on the stream. And if I get ripped, I get ripped. I ain't going to try it on my barbless hook, though. I tried on, um, not my X-Series joint. I'm going to try it on one of these other rides. But basically, my setup, as far as I know, your ride should be the heaviest. And then your reel should be the second heaviest. You try to make them be the same. But if you got to go down incrementally in your weight, you want to go to your reel being the second. And then, from what I knew, your line should be next and then your leader. He was telling me that even though the game might say you're going to have an issue, your line and your leader can be a heavier weight than your reel and ride. He said your reel should be the weak spot. So that should be the weakest one after the ride. And then your line and leader can go up. My ride is a 50-pound ride. Let's do this real quick. Let's look at the science. Let's look at the science. Because, see, my ride is a 50-pound ride. And because of my level, they'll sell you. This game weird. You'll get to a level and buy a ride, and then the line won't be the weight of the ride. It'll be like 20 pounds or 10 pounds lighter, 8 pounds lighter when you're trying to match it up. I don't know why they do that. So I got this 44-pound fluoro. Normally, I use braid, but it actually been working really well. But not even that. My reel is 49. My leader is only 41. That's the closest one I could get without going over. They had a 55-pound, but I was like, that's too heavy. But from what he told me, I could go with that 55-pound leader, and it should work. He said, forget what the message say, and that way you'll be able to handle heavier weights with your fish. So I'm going to try this. I got this titanium 55-pound. Uh, let's see. This is... 0.25 now this 0.28 but i'm gonna still try it and see hopefully that that point eight point eight two versus the point the 1.64 won't make a difference i would rather do the 1.64 since it's longer but we gonna see we gonna see if i get ripped it was an experiment or if it the ride breaker oh i would not want this ride to break oh not my majesty not my majesty but uh now nah, we gonna see what it do and that should make our weight be easier. I should actually reel these fish in easier. So, again, we, we're going to try it. We're going to try it out and see. And y'all let me know if you uh, if you know anything different in those regards. All right. We're going to put them right here. I'm going to put this rod in the one spot. When the one spot go off, that's the one with the leader. I want to see if I – oh, hold on. Is that my one with my dog on? X-Series. I just said I wasn't going to use my X-Series hook, didn't I? My X-Series barbless. Ooh. Ooh. That's all right. I'm going to take a chance. We're going to learn it together. If it's a problem, <laughs> it's going to be a problem. We're going to figure it out together. Y'all will see, so y'all will know not to do it. Let's see. Best cheap lake to fish at. I mean, the best and cheapest lake is, of course, uh, Emerald. I mean, sorry, uh, Lone Star Lake. You know, you fish at Lone Star that's the cheapest lake of all um if you try if you can go if you're a higher level above lone star and you're trying to fish go to emerald lake emerald lake is the there we go uh come on in emerald lake is the um is the best ex least expensive farm cost you about what three four g's to go out there another g or so for the license you can make 100k you know, I mean, depending on how long you sit there. You sit there for a couple weeks or whatever. But even if you stay there like a week, you can make 20, 30, 40K. It's a really great spot. All right, I'm going to try this leader thing on this one as well. Because this one got a 41. It's a 52-pound ride with a 52-pound reel. And then I got this, this leader that is 41. My line is 53, but that's because it's 52.9, so I figured that would work. So, yeah, we're going to try this leader and see what it do. We're going to do this 50, 55 pounds. Okay, it say the way optimal, so, hey, must be true. Must be true. We learning something new. And I'm going to put this one in the two spot. That way I know one and two have the heavier leader on them, so we know how this experimentation going to go. Uh, let's see, let's see. 
Uh, can we still get the Halloween canoe? I do not know that for sure. Somebody let me know if you can get the Halloween canoe. Wolf, you say your internet is too slow. You got to play something else. That's what's up, man. Well, hey, I'm glad you still hit the stream rocking with us. I know how I get with the internet, man. Sometimes it can be funky. Uh, Blue Crab, and you're gonna end. Uh, you're gonna need to start using Max Drag. Uh, Blue Crab and up. Okay. Need to start using Max Drag. That's what he was talking about too. The Max Drag. That's. I understand most of the the setups conceptually, but I still got to figure out what he mean with that. Other than turning my drag all the way up. And I know that those carp are heavy. I know those carp are heavy. They like how I'm fishing these catfish right now. Now, it's some bass over here. I mean, excuse me, some brown trout over here, but they not hitting. Come on, brown trout. I think they sit all the way at the bottom. I'm going to let it sink. Uh, let's see. Emerald, the best until St. Croix and Alberta. Yeah, I agree. If you want another lake to kind of have fun at, because Emerald would get boring. You'll, you'll earn a ton of money. But I would also go to uh, Rocky Lake or Falcon Lake. Rocky Lake is cheap. Rocky Lake is the next cheap. All you need is spinners and a decent um, spin rod. And then you still can, you know, use what is like small minnows for the trout if you got a match or a feeder. But if you got a spin rod, just buy you a spinner or two, a nano spinner. Man, you'll be hitting all day long catching them trout. Good money, too. Good money. What is this? Ah, uh, we got a brown trout, but it's 6.7. Okay, the sun out. I need to go over there and try them muskies again now that we now that we got our sun back out. I might jump on the boat. When you get on the boat, it automatically pull up your stuff. Uh, let's see. Amber the best St. Croix. At St. Croix, you make 100K a day. Yeah, St. Croix is good money. I am not going to front. It is good money. Oh, how am I hung on something? Come on, man. That's trash. Let's see. You went there for a week and ranked up from level 12 to 24. And sleep talking about Emerald Lake. Yeah, when you early, man, Emerald Lake is your level spot. Like, that's where you're going to get the most leveling and make a ton of money while you there. I think I went there when I was, like, level 14 or something like that. And once, because I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and lose all my money. I had went to uh, Mud Water. Mud Water wasn't hitting on Jack. I was catching catfish and all of that, but making money wasn't nothing happening. So I was like, man, I'm going to go to Emerald Lake and be broke. Man, I went there, and once I learned how to catch them walleye, oh, with that narrow spoon, it was a wrap. All night long. All you had to do was fish from 9 p.m. to 5, making a ton of money. I upgraded everything, upgraded everything. Let's see, three days. You turn your drag uh, one before max. Okay. Okay. Going to be the same as last year on Halloween. Okay. Let's see. You got to wait for the Halloween event to start and finish it if you didn't complete the event for the kayak. Mm, okay. I have to look out for that. We'll see if we can do some of those events. Ooh, the, oh, I thought I had a brown trout. All right, come on, fish. Lift up. Okay, so this is... Ah, oh, man, come on. Let it down me. Okay. Okay, hey, look, this leader is making a difference. I noticed a catfish, and normally it'd be way uh, heavier. It's reeling in a lot easier. So that leader made a difference. Switching from that 44 to this 55, oh, this making a huge difference. This making a huge difference. Shout out to Jim. I don't know if he in here, but, man, shout out. I'm going to have to thank him on Discord because I did not know. I did not know, but I know now. Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. All right, let's see if we can get this jammy. I put the leader on this one too, yep. It ain't even approaching. I, I kind of want to bump it up, but I don't want to bump it up though. I want to bump it up one more, but I can't risk getting ripped with this barbless on here. I think, let's see, it's doing about one, two, three, four. It's doing about four notches when I go up. I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave them feeders out. 
I'm gonna try for a couple more brown trout, and if I don't get the brown trout like I want, then we are gonna go ahead and move back to the uh, to the pike spot, catch us some pike, catch us some pike. Uh, let's see, epic. <laughs> That's what's up, Wolf. Okay, let me let this drop down to the bottom. Oh. Oh, something hit it. Something hit it. Something hit it. Hey, what's up, everybody who is in here? Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. Hit that like button for me if you're jumping in. Get those likes up. Go on and feed that YouTube algorithm. The Al G rhythm. We got to feed the algorithm, guys. We got to feed the algorithm. Let's see. What is this? Another walleye. Now, when I came here, the first time I came here, I wasn't ready for pike like that, right? I tried to catch them. I wasn't really catching them. But I came over here, and I think I found the walleye spot. I thought the walleye would be bigger. I figured since Emerald Lake got walleye of one size, the walleye here was, you know, the Emerald Lake walleyes average about two and a half pounds. You'll catch some five-pounders. You might mess around and catch a six or seven-pounder, but mainly five is the big ones. I figured you come here and they'd be like 10, 15 pounds because the money would scale up with the price of this lake. But nah, they still small here. If you go for uh, uh dog on it. If you go for walleye here, they don't scale up. At least not to my knowledge. Somebody let me know, correct me if I'm wrong, if they're larger walleye somewhere. Cause this spot right here, they live. They live ones. Uh see, so you haven't finished the Halloween event yet. You can still get the event. Dragon, you say they are? They they bigger or they the same? Which is it? Which is it? Uh, Not using the right hooks or spot. Okay. Okay. What are they? On the outer edge by the ocean? They need to do more with that ocean area too. Okay, they are bigger. All right, I'll find it eventually. I really haven't been looking for it because, you know, everybody fish pike here. But I do want to find where they're bigger at. And I kind of just hit this one, this spot right here, kind of on the humbug. I found it when I was over here fishing for catfish. Look, I actually, I entered a competition here, right? A catfish competition came up. I didn't even know where the catfish was at. I was just like, forget it. I'm going to try. I think it was like free entry. It was cheap. So I went around looking where everybody was fishing at in the public lobby. And I saw some people right here catching catfish. So I went ahead and experimented. Found me some cats. Oh, boom. Boom. Come on, brown trout. Come on, brown trout. Let me get that. Let me get that six, seven brown trout. Ah, five, eight. Five, eight. Come on, brown trout. I know it's another spot for brown trout, but every time I've tried at the other spots, I don't catch nothing. Like, this is the only spot I've caught them at. Okay, it is by the ocean. Okay. Yeah, I got to go back and try that ocean spot. Got to try that ocean spot. Oh, we getting a hit. We getting a hit. Take it. I can't stand when they just play with your line like that and don't take it. Go on and take it. All right, yeah, the cat slowing down. I keep getting right there to that brown trout. I think I need a 6.7. The closest I found or caught here was a 6.1. I think I caught that yesterday. It just will not do it. But, yeah, we're going back to the other spot. I'm going to throw out a few. I think the hot spot for, or the hot time for the muskie that I want to get is like 6 to 7. But I've caught a few at a... Uh, I've caught a few from seven to eight as well, so we're going to try it out and see. It should have picked up my, yeah, picked up my joint. That's a walleye spot right there, too, that marker. That's another walleye spot. Let's go. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. I'm about to... Hey, let's go. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. Oh, let's see if we can jump the edge, y'all. Let's see if we can jump the edge. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. I could have did better than that. Oh, you know what? All right, I'm trying from a couple angles. 
Stop. 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 Okay. All right, we're going to try from here, see if we can catch this musky this way. Uh, I changed my lure. Dog on it. Dog on it. Okay. Let me go to the jigs. For this challenge, I need a shad. This shad had worked a little bit. This shad worked a little bit. Okay, so four to eight. I got a 4X series. So I'm going to leave this 4X series on there, see what it do. I tried to, but it's one and a half. It's heavy. That's why I stopped using this one because it's heavy. Even though it's an X series, it wasn't getting no hits. I went to this half because it actually I could actually make the fish dance properly. When that weight too heavy, the fish don't dance. So I bought this one out the shop. It's a half ounce ADOT. And yeah, the fish boogie. So I'm going to see if this work. I might be a little too close. We'll we'll back up if we don't get anything. And I'm going to come from ah oh, dog on it. I'm going to come from the other angle too. I'm going to come from the other angle and and see if we can get it. All right. Come on, musky. Come on, musky. You're trying to get these muskies. What's up, Shady? Hey, it's all good. It's all good. Man, appreciate you being here. I know you be here, man. It's all good. I understand things come up. You be a little busy, but you here now, man. We've been having a good time, good stream so far. Uh, let's see. There's no ocean in the middle of the country. <laughs> you mean lake. Okay, yeah, lake. I don't know. They got this magical <laughs> ocean portal. Only this one part of the ocean, then it go underground and connect with the other part of the ocean on the edge of the map. Let's see. Hopefully, you'll be back for the stream ends. That's what's up, Wolf Boy. Hey, if you can come through, you know. If not, you know, I'll be back on, what's today, Thursday? I'll be back on Sunday. But y'all see, I ended up streaming Friday and Saturday. I streamed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday morning, we got that car mechanic in there. And shout, shout out to everybody who came through for the car mechanic. Guys, I streamed yesterday. Dang, I've streamed. Let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, today be Thursday. Mess around and stream tomorrow, Friday. Um, I streamed yesterday because I was recording i was editing this car mechanic video i finally got it done it's just like super thorough breakdown of how you get xp so if you play my car mechanic check that out it's coming out later i got a schedule for eight i got a schedule for eight and then i did i found an unlimited way to get xp it's kind of glitchy but i'm showing you how to do it anyway it's in the game it's not a glitch it's an actual working method but it might be something they're gonna fix but anyway um I was working on them videos yesterday, and I hit. I was trying to hit record with my hotkey, and I hit the S button instead of the R button. And so I started streaming. So uh, some of you guys jumped in like, hey, what's up? You know, so I ain't want to disappoint. I said, you know what? I ain't no tease, so we're going to go ahead and stream. I'm going to get back on here, and we're going to stream. So after about 15 minutes, I went ahead and, and got everything set, and we was ready to go. So shout out to everybody who came through. But again, and again, shout out to everybody who been um, rocking with the car mechanic. Because when I did car mechanic Sunday morning, man, we had a big turnout. We had a big turnout. Uh, let's see. Been in Blue Craft for 10 days, 400K. Oh, we getting a hit. Come on, take it. Yes. 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 Is this a musky? Is this the musky? Ah, it's a musky. It's only 10, though. It's only 10. Okay, let me let me put it on what I need it on. Let me let me change this mission real quick. We got a new mission. What's the new mission? Oh, Weeping Willow. Ah, they got a new monster in Weeping Willow. Stomach ground bait. Wow. Now you gotta catch all these uniques at Weeping Willow just to go after this Weeping Willow monster. How much he weigh? Like 400 pounds? Goodness. All right, we going after the pike. There we go. Bam. So we can get this trophy single spoon. 
Them trophy single spoons work really well with certain salmon. When I go back to Kanik, we're going to get on them salmons. Let's see. It might be a Great Lake. Okay. All right. The Great Lakes. That was up. Let's see. You was there in the car mechanic strain. Yeah, sleep. Thank you for always supporting. Sleep always be there to support. Let's go, Rush. Let's see. You said in the Discord. Oh, he owes us a stream. If he doesn't, he owes us a giveaway. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I know, right? So, yeah, I came with the stream, but we still going to have the giveaways, too. I know we were talking about that the other day. Get some more giveaways going. I try to do one at least once a month. And I'm trying to. Now, don't hold me to anything. Now, I, ain't, I ain't putting nothing in stone. If I can, more. But uh, the, the fishing planet type ones, yeah, they probably would be less regular just because it costs more. But I'm going to try to do them as much as I can. That way y'all can get some packs or some DLCs or whatever, whatever with it. All right, let me try a different technique. Let me try a different technique. Come on, musky. Come on, musky. All right, I'm going to let it sink. I'm going to let it sink. All right, we're going to let it sink. We're going to let it sit here. All right, we're going to do a little lift and drop. Lift and drop. Let's try this. I might try a different shad. It's a cloudy day. What, what will work good on a cloudy day? Do this lift and drop. Come on, come on, come on. How these musky be playing, man? I got to figure out how to catch these doggone muskies. I can catch them all day on the uh, with bait. If I go over here right now and throw out a few rides, I'm going to catch it on the bait. It's just catching it with this doggone shad, man. All right. Say this one too light. I'm going to try this, this black shad, see if it do anything. Let's see if this entices the muskies. Is this the one y'all want? Is this the one y'all want? It looks like not. It looks like not. All right. I'm going um, to try one more thing over here closer to the reeds. We're going to back up a little bit. And we're going to try throwing right down beside the, the reed, see if this, if it makes a difference, man. This being that BS. Noah, hey, what's going on, Noah? I'm doing good, doing good. How you, how you? Welcome back, welcome back. What's up with you? All right, man. These shad are not working. These, I don't know, man. I just don't know. They don't even get no nibbles. All right. I'm going to head back over to the side. We're going to catch us some pikes. If nothing else, we can get our earnings up. And I'll try that again off the stream. <laughs> they won't give me the message. Can I get the message, though? Can I get the message, though? Let's say you good. I'm doing good, man. The family is well. All is well. All is well. In here getting the fishing on. All right, we're going to set up right here. Put this stand out. Put this stand out. Let's see the Barbless series. Uh, let me check my length. Bring that back up. 
Need to be fairly shallow for these pikes. I go ahead and leave the four out on there, but I probably change it to the eight. Again, I like to try to have it as big as um, as possible just to try to filter out the small fish. Let's see, we got shiners on here. Shiners actually work with pike. If you got large minnows, but you're trying to save, put like two rides with, or however many, put like a ride with large minnows and then put a ride or two with shiners on it, depending on how many rides you got. I think they're a little bit less frequent than large minnows, but they still work. So if you got multiple rides out, you'll uh, you'll keep a good frequency of bites. Look at that. We got one already. Another bite. Another bite. Do, 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 do. Uh, let me put this one down. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on in. Come on in. There we go. Got that trophy. Nice. Nice. Got that trophy. All right, let me uh check my one I'm not using. Number six. Let's see, we got seven. We'll do our X series. Do I X series? What I got on this one? Large. So I do shiners on this one. Do shiners on this one. Help keep the money right. Be a good steward of the finance. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Ob said. By the way, congratulations on eleven seven. Last time it was eleven six. Yeah, man. Hey, we moving on up. Look, we moving on up. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. For some reason, it didn't show in my chat. And my other one, I had to look over here. Huh. That's strange. That's strange. But appreciate that, Ob. Look, we, we moving up, man. I appreciate that. Again, I appreciate all the support and uh, all the love. We definitely been growing, man. Hopefully, it will continue. What's up, Skull Trooper? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, these shads ain't hitting on nothing, man. Well, the time of day ain't good, neither. Our time of day is not good. Let me try this yellow. Let me try this yellow from behind the reeds. They all like, um, let me see. All right, that one moving. They moving. The pike playing with them. The pike playing with them. Look at that. They just not striking yet. Oh, one of them going. One of them going. There you go. Ah, right, both of them going. <laughs> Both of them going. Come on. Let me get you in. Let's get your friend. Trophy. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that, um, changing up that doggone, uh, 
leader made a huge difference. Follow the leader. Wow, two trophies back to back. Nice. Nice. That's a decent one right there. That is a decent one. Let me check my leader on this one. Yeah, that one still got the 44. Let's go on and change this while we in here. Uh, ah, I don't have no more. I don't have no more. I'm going to go on and sell. You can't even sell it. That's trash. But we're going to get rid of it. I got to buy some more 55s. Doggone it. That's cool, though. At least I know. At least I know. Knowing is half the battle. I mean, it still reels them in pretty fast, just not as fast as um, if I change this leader. But, again, once I leave this lake, I'll go on and buy me some more leaders, and we'll be good. Again, if anybody is familiar with this uh, Pike Hunt 2 with the Shad Jig Bait, man, let me know. Because this one of them ones that I'm going to be like, forget it. Let's see, you literally watching in front of the family. They don't think I'm a real person. <laughs> Say I'm a real person. I am a real person. I am not a robot. I am not a android. Oh, I guess an android will use correct uh proper english i am not an android i am a human please do not be fooled by the cadence of my speech ha 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 ha, ha. of course i am human ha ha ha, ha. Ew. <laughs> all right i'm tripping <laughs> now nah, tell your family i'm real man i'm not an android i'm not a ai program or a bot i am a real human being ask me a human being question i promise i will answer it oh i got a hit all gone i got a hit right there close to the shore come on muskies they might like this yellow one i might have found one they like i'm gonna tell y'all too um you know, you find, like, you be trying to find, you know, you're looking for fish. So maybe you'll look up different things and, and see what people say, get people as advice. And so sometimes you'll see something on certain bait or certain lure. And when you try it, it never works for you. I've had that experience where it's certain baits and lures that work for me. I don't know if it's because of, like, the server you own, because they got, like, east servers, west servers, north, south, you know. Or if the game tweak certain things most things are all consistent between all of us or maybe it's even because we reel differently like even when you think you're doing the same reel technique as somebody you're doing it slightly different but yeah there have been certain baits that i've seen people use or people recommend it and you know they catch trophies uniques with them and i use something totally different and um and you know i get the catch so i, I just wonder about that is that with the coding or the programming you know is that normal uh, let's see. Thank you. They believe you now. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Glad, glad I can help. Glad I can help. Uh, what's my favorite food? Ooh, I got a few. I got a few, but I do like seafood, though. I will say that I do like seafood. I'm a water sign with the fish, so yeah, I do like seafood. Um, it seems to have some correlation. Seafood. What else? I can eat some pasta. Bread, taters. I'm country, so I like taters. Taters and maters. I like taters and maters. Oh, okay. This is a big one. I think this is a trophy. Nah, not a trophy. He was just tucked under that water. 
I'm now nah, I've been fishing for these muskies. I'm gonna throw this one over here to the musky spot. This spot that I'm casting at a little far away is a musky spot, like all day. Oh, you know what? I think I might not have changed my depth on this one. Let me change my depth real quick. Let me make sure I still got it at the catfish depth. Oh, nah, we good. We good. We good. I do need to check my other one, though. But this the musky spot. Watch. I'm going to leave this here, and I put money on it that we'll come back with a musky. But I cast with that spinner, and I don't get no luck. I guess no luck. All right, all right. All right, bam. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I like sea rice? That's your favorite food. You know what? I have never had that. I got to try that. Look, you're going to make me go look that up. Is that something that they sell everywhere? Is that in the States? Because, yo, I got to try that. Are white bass good money? Um, most bass in general are good money uh, per pound, but I don't think they get that big. But most of your bass only get so big anyway. You know, they only get to about five, six pounds. Well, a few lakes, I think they get a little bigger. But for the most part, bass don't get that big. So I think the white bass are the same. And I think they're still a slightly smaller breed. I had to catch those white bass at Quanchkin, I believe. Are you at Quanchkin? That's the last place I was at uh, fishing that I had to catch those white bass. Uh, let's see. You like Mexican dishes? Your favorite are steak tortillas or tortas with jalapenos and avocado. That sounds good. That sounds good, actually. That sounds like something. Look, I thought my son was coming in. He be busting up in the office, busting up in the lab. Like that. I hear him. I have to go check on him in a minute. Um, But, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Let's see you at Rocky Lake. Oh, okay. Rocky Lake, you'll catch some of those depending on what lure you're using. If you're using the right lures, like sometimes even with spinners at Rocky Lake, I believe when you first come in to the right, it's this little gap. I might be mixing it with Falcon Lake, but there's a there's like a tree in the ground. It's a tree on the left, but it's a tree on the right. And in between the tree on the right is some space between the shore. If you fish over there, you will usually catch white bass. And sometimes even when I'm using my spinners, I'll catch white bass, even though I'm going for trout. But the main the main ones you should probably focus on are trout. And if you just catch some white bait, you know, uh, here and there, you know, you'll get good money. I don't know if you should necessarily target them, though. Let's see. You should try some with your family. You want to see your vlog one day? I actually might do that. I was thinking about that. Um, Yeah, I was really thinking about that. Even doing something for, like, gamer dads or something, you know? Because, yeah, it can be definitely a juggle, you know? But uh, but it can be done. It can be done. <laughs> it is being done. But yeah, that'd be cool. I might do that when we uh when we travel to do some things, man. Do some vlogs. Oh, my little dude, he's smart. Well, he too he that boy is smart. He can't he he's like limited with what he can say. He say dad. He say a few different words, but you know, right now he's still at that point where he his he's still strengthening all of that. But he can communicate, boy. He'll bring me that remote control in a minute and say, put on uh Paw Patrol or I wanna see Blaze. He like, Dad, he point at the TV. Turn on the TV. I be like, all right, I hear you. I got you, man. He do stuff like we got a a, a, a ice maker. He like ice for some reason. I mean, I eat ice too. I eat ice, but he be wanting ice out the ice maker. And he'll go put a cup up there. Like, let me get some of that. You know, he ain't even two yet. I'm like, boy, you something else. You something else. All right, all right, let's go. We got another one. Where you going? Where you going? Yeah, see, we getting them smaller ones. I'm finna uh, change this real quick to the eight. The eights just pull 
bigger ones more consistently. I might see if the store got a barbless eight or something. See what I can do with that. All right, all right. Ah oh, man, it's the wrong dog on uh it's the wrong ride. This my shark hunter right here. This the shark hunter. Oh, uh, let's see. We looking for 3. That's right. He sure is. He sure is absolutely. Absolutely. My little dude is a monster. <laughs> he is a trip. That's my little man. Hey, B, let's say the mini macro trying to do what his pappy does. Hey, you right, man. He is, like, he is really starting to mimic. Uh, what did he do? He picked up my phone the other day. He was like, hello? Like, he was talking on the phone, want to hit the buttons and be holding it up to his ear. Like, yeah, he a trip. Or when he come in here, first thing he do is run for one of these keyboards. I got a little laptop right here that's kind of low. He'll either run to the laptop, start banging. He'll start banging on the keys. I got some wireless mice at the different stations. He'll go take the wireless mouse and run around with it, act like he using it at the computer. Like, he a trip, boy. He is a trip. Let's see, you just went to Rocky Lake. Uh, you don't know why you wanted to try something new. Rocky's a good lake. Rocky's a good lake. And, again, depending on what level, what weight your gear is, um, Rocky is a really good lake. All you need is spinners. You can you also use a medium spoon. The medium spoons work well too. Hey, so you gonna slide down this way? That way this weekend to CMB. Hey man, come on through, man. Holla at me. Holla at me, you know. Yeah, no. You check out the spot. Still got the old spot, the new spot. With uh Kendraney, you know. Yeah, man. Hey, just let me know, man. Let me know. Let's see. You finally got your fiance playing fishing playing with you. Hey, that's what's up, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you. That's a little. That's a a, a little tip. Little pro tip. If you got you a, a mate, uh, your girl, your wifey, or whomever, teach them to play. It's actually fun. Look, I I do that too. And then sometimes if you need to do something else and you work, but you're trying to farm, you need to keep catching them fish. Going out to White Lake or somewhere and teach them how to cast it and do stop and go. Or uh or just like this. If you even if I I done taught my people how to um spin fish, stop and go, catching them 40 pounders at um catching them 40 pounders at white moose, flipping over the kayak. But even if you at a lesser lake, like Emerald Lake or somewhere, go to Emerald Lake, teach them how to stop and go, or throw you a feeder out and a match. Don't overwhelm them with too many rides. You know, don't over don't overwhelm your fiance or whomever with too many rides or your mate. But yeah, man, show them how to work the ride. Show them how to pick these rides up. They'll be having fun, and you can be getting some other work done or something. Yeah, I hear my little dude. He's down there hollering. I think he's saying that. I have to go check on him. Go check on him. See if he on Paw Patrol. He done started saying he loves cars and stuff, too. He real big on cars, car shows like Blaze. He love Blaze. Paw Patrol. It's this little motorcycle show that done came out. <laughs> yeah, he gonna he gonna make me shut it down. He gonna make me shut it down. Uh, let's see. She the reason you catching a four hundred pound shark. She your good luck charm. That's what's up, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. I always need your good luck charm. Uh, let's see. What do you need? A Rocky Lake medium spoon. Can you recommend good bait? Yeah, medium spoon, any spinners. If you got nano spinners, regular spinners, um, what's that other spinner called? 
Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you. Let me reel this in. I'll show you what you can use. Some of these are heavier, but whatever's at that store or around your level or matches up with your ride, if it's light, you, you'll you be good money. Um, this medium spoon, the red one works. These work with all trout, any of these medium spoons, but the red one work real good. Uh, single spoons work. Any spinner. You probably can't get no bullet spinners yet, but this regular spinner right here, this is a six. You don't need one this big. I got some smaller ones, like a three or a two or even a one. This X series, well, you probably going to have this X series, um, but any, if you can get a barbless spinner, I think I spent a couple bait coins. You got a couple base coins, bait coins, buy you a barbless spinner, just a little light one. You can do this one or pick a color. Even if you get one that's like a, a one, a two, or a one out or a two out, they'll catch them all day. Um, this spinner right here will work. Again, just get the one that's at your level. Get like a one out or a two out, because that lake is a smaller. Uh, the, the trout will be smaller. Any spinners though, bullets. Don't get spinner bait. I mean, they work, but I don't really use them like that. Use bullets, uh, regular spinners, and uh, nano spinners. Bar, uh, I got this barbless. But they, I think nano spinners is one, too. Get you a nano spinner. Those work well, too. Uh, let's see. Can we see what he looked like compared to me? Oh, he has stage fright. Now, he'll run in here, but if, if I get him, if he come in here before I pick him up, he popped in on one of my streams one time. But um yeah, if he if he come through, I I pop him in. Let's see, he hit me another. Uh, okay, okay, we'll chop it out. All right, all right for show, B. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey, are we doing it? So yes sir, hit me up, man. Yeah, we'll chop it up. You know we we got our plans, uh, entrepreneurial endeavors. Yeah, holla at me, B. Let's see, narrow spoon. Yes, absolutely, narrow spoons. Yo, man, you from South Africa. Hey, what's up? Shout out to South Africa. That's what's up. What's up, Mahir? Welcome to the stream. What part of South Africa are you in? Are you in uh, Josie? I think they call it Josie. You in jo Johannesburg? Oh, uh, what's my other spots? I had some friends, uh, a few friends from South Africa. They were in a couple different spots. They used to teach me some of the nicknames. Okay, Johannesburg. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I went to school with a few folks. Yeah, man. Josie. Yeah. Yeah, look. I know. I know a little bit about that. I know a little bit. I haven't been, but I know a little bit about it. That's what's up, man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Look, thanks for stopping through. You know, anytime you want to stop through the streams, man, check it out. More than welcome, more than welcome. I'm trying to think. When I was in school, I had to do a, uh, a OB. You did what I said, and you called a trophy. Nice. You already called a trophy. Hey, that's what's up. See, my man, handsome obese cow, utilized some of the tactics, some of the methods. They methods. Some of the methods. Uh, that we recommend. I told him what to fish and how to fish, and he done already caught a trophy. That's what's up, man. Let's see, been following for a long time. Hey, you got an Insta? Yeah, yeah, I got an Insta. Um, check me out. It's uh, it's Charles Macro. It's Charles Macro. Yeah, check me out on there. Lucky Sniper, what's up, Snipe? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Ah, this is the one I already casted over there. Say you new here? Hey, that's what's up. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, you got any questions or, or um, any input? Feel free. Man, we help each other. We got people in here. Sometimes we at different lakes. I'm currently at St. Croix. But, you know, if you... um. Time to time, we all just chat about different things, different lakes, tackle, fish. And, you know, if you got any questions or concerns, hey, just let us know. If, if I don't know, 
And and I I usually know most things, but I don't know everything. I ain't gonna lie. So if I don't know, it's some OGs in the chat that can help you out as well, man. We got a lot of experience floating around in here. No pun intended. Hey, let's see you give me a follow right now. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. That is what's up. That is what's up. Let's see where's the best place to fish. It really depends on what level you're at. If you early level, if you like under 20, um, Emerald Lake is a very good lake. If you still at Lone Star, of course, Lone Star, you can, you know, catch bass there, make money, save up. But the first, the first early farm is Emerald. Like that's where you can make a ton of money, level up, upgrade your gear, things of that nature. After Emerald, um, Rocky Lake, well, that's actually before Emerald, but it's around the same level. Rocky Lake is good for trout. Falcon is good. They're both trout lakes. You can use spinners. If you're ready for the Everglades or even Quanchkin, those are good lakes as well. Those are farms. They actually got good farm spots. There's a fish you can target. I'm going to do some videos on them too. I got hot spot videos, but I got some new ideas for some videos I think that'll help, man. And it's been inspired by a lot of what we've been doing in the stream, so... I'm trying to get that together, but yeah, man, y'all done inspire some other ways. I feel like I can put some information out there that'll help that people haven't necessarily done yet. But yeah, let's see. Rocky Lake using a spoon or a spinner. Do you use stop and go constant or twitching? Um, at, at Rocky Lake, stop and go will still work, but twitching and twitching works too. If you do a twitch. You know, let it float through the water. You'll get a lot of hits that way, that way too. But um, I don't do a lot of uh, just straight reels. I think you can catch some, but stick with stop and go and twitch, and you'll get mad hits. Let's see, you level 23, you got a 90-pound keep net, so best to knock it out in five days' time. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And you're at Emerald. Have you already fished Emerald? I'm, I'm going to assume you already been there. If you fish Emerald and you go after those walleye, just right now target walleye. I would still stick with Emerald unless you done got bored with it. But Emerald gets you a narrow spoon. If you are, like I said, you might already know. Uh, especially if you say you don't watch some of my videos, you probably seen Emerald, narrow spoon. Dang, these fish ain't biting. Emerald, narrow spoon, um, straight, stop and go, real speed three. You'll catch walleye all day long. 9 p.m. Is, is the best time at night, but they do catch during the day now. They used to not catch during the day when I first started fishing there. If you look at my first video, I tell you, you go straight to 9 p.m. because you couldn't catch nothing during the day. But uh, now you can, so, you know, have at it. But nighttime still works better. In my experience, since I went back, you can catch them during the day, but yeah, do that nighttime. Okay, just got off fishing planet. You on Red Dead? I hadn't played Red Dead in a while. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm a rock star veteran, right? I played all of the rock star games, all of the GTAs, uh, all the old, what was it for? Uh, Red Dead 2, um, Red Dead Revolver. I played Rockstar games you probably never even heard of. Some of the precursors to these later level GTAs. The ones they use to work out the mechanics, work out the system. It's an old game called, uh, oh, what is that game? There's this old Rockstar game. It's old, like PS2 or something like that, PS3, where you snuck around and you like, you know how you do like a, a silent kill on games? You sneak up on people. The whole game was you doing that. It, and the game was crazy. It, it's like, oh, it's called Manhunt. That's the name of it, Manhunt. It's not for kids. So if you a kid, if you're not old enough, don't don't play that game. But um, Rockstar used it to work out like the sneaker mechanics. When you crouch in GTA, when you hide and stuff like that, they use that game to work it out. And Bully, games like Bully where you the little kid. It's like GTA in the school. But um, that was a point. But Red Dead, oh, I used to play Red Dead quite a bit. Oh, I was saying that to say I beat all those games. I used to go through every single game and complete them all, the story mission. Every GTA beat all the stories. 
And then, of course, when they did GTA Online, we was online. My man, uh, Papito B, he um he know we had a crew. We was playing GTA Online, but they never came out with Heist. If you were the first on GTA uh, 5, if you was one of the originals on 360 and PS4, or what was for PS3, you remember that Heist was supposed to come out. We were all on there waiting. We had crews. We was ready to go. Heist never dropped on GTA Online. Everybody was mad, and we all abandoned it. It took like a year later. By that time, the crew was gone, and so we came back to it. But anyway, as that relates to Red Dead, I was going to go through it on Red Dead, but I've never played that mission. I have it on Red Dead 2, and um, I've never played that whole mission. So I need to do that. I played Red Dead Online. I made a character. I played it a bit. But, yeah, I have not played through that mission yet. Let's see, 5, 5 a.m. I'm going to go for this musky again real quick. We're going to go for this musky real quick, guys, and then we're going to get ready to wrap. Let's see, B, you remember Manhunt? Yeah, yeah, Manhunt. Uh, let's see, Junk Out of Fifth Planet. You have to use the white shad in the trout lake. You caught so many. Okay, use white shad. Hey, that's another recommendation, white shads. Uh, white Shad, the Trout Lake. Okay, I remember that as well, White Shads. I'll use White Shads. I have used different Shads, though. Shads work good, too. Let's see, you finish your computer exam, back to watching the stream. Hey, that's what's up, Joshua. You got that A. You remember, we sent the vibes out. You got an A. You got an A on it. You aced it. 100. No less than a 90, but we going for that 100. Yeah, Manhunt. It's an old game. If you can get like a... um. It might be on a PS store with some of their older games, or you can get an emulator. That game crazy. It probably don't look as good, you know, of course, graphically. But if you like to play throwback games, that was great. Man, that game was crazy. You used to sneak up on people, and you do all kind of stuff. I don't even want to say it in the stream, but you did stuff that you would see in them, them scary movies. Them movies like Saw. Like, the game was wild, but Rockstar made that. They probably couldn't even put a game out like that today because the game was so crazy. Like, they wanted to ban it, but Rockstar put it out. Now, I think they toned it down a bit, but the way you would take people out sometimes, that game was wild. Yeah, just look up Manhunt. Look up some video of it. And Somebody at this point, I'm sure on YouTube, made a video of Manhunt showing all of, they call them like executions or something like that, all the ways you could take people out. But you were sneaking. You were in an insane asylum. I think that's the plot. You were in an insane asylum trying to escape. So you had to, like, take folks out to get out, man. It was a wild game. It was a wild game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, B, say so you remember that. Yeah, it's kind of like Assassin's Creed. Like, Assassin's Creed borrowed their sneaking from this game. But Assassin's Creed now is way more refined. It's way more refined. Only issue at Emerald over five days is the low peaks at night, uh, two to three, even to four, using a value spin. Black narrow spoon slowing down at day three. Nah, you should be able to catch them all the time. Let's see, you just caught a unique. Nice. Oh, but you caught a unique. What lake are you at again? Tell me what lake you at. Let's see, you remember playing on GTA A and 360. Yeah, man. Uh, they trolled on that one. Last game you bought before the next gen console drop. All right. Hold on. Let me let me make sure I got what you're saying. Um use what you need to do is get you more narrow spoons get you the silver and the gold narrow spoon right here silver and gold and you should be able to catch them like all night you'll get a few slow peaks you know you'll cast a few times you might not get nothing but if your black one ain't working get the silver and gold also get that purple that purple one works well too i could go to emerald lake right now and probably fish this whole time and catch a walleye like every single time the other thing you need to do, don't fish at the exact same spot. It's a radius. It's so facing the middle at the big tree, but there are two trees in between that big tree. If you go in like back and forth in between that the whole time, you know, you'll catch them all night. Fish at the big tree, catch two or three, then if they dry up, go back and forth. Sleep also has a spot. If you go um sleep is key also got a hot spot. And it's maybe like 50 feet out or 60 feet out, something like that. Um, and it's right at that little border. And you'll catch a lot of fish there, too. But, yeah, you definitely should be able to catch them consistently with only a few dry spells. 
Let's see. Yeah, man, they delayed those heist missions, man. It was like, yeah, we pretty much just everybody tapped out. The whole crew tapped out, man. We had a squad, too. We could have done some damage with our crew, but the heist never came. I've since done the heist when I got back on it. Um, I got a niece who's pretty grown, and uh, I went to see her one time, and her boyfriend, he like a nerd like, like I am. He's super geeked out. And so he had an extra copy of GTA on the Xbox One. He was like, go on and take it. I was like, word. So that made me go back and play it. And I jumped back on it. Heist was there. Then I made a video. I don't know if y'all know my channel. When I started playing GTA on the Xbox One, I did the transfer. You can still do the transfer. I transferred from my Xbox 360 to Xbox One and made a video. I guess nobody had really made videos. That video got like 200,000 views, like something crazy right now. It might be like 160 or something. It just went crazy. I was like, yo, I could not believe it. Uh, let's see. I play PC. Yeah, I play PC. Uh, which game are you talking about? You still talking about Fishing Planet? Yeah, I am on PC. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... Ah, I done threw my ride out. I can't see my chat. Wait a minute. Let me let me do this. All right. I had to catch it back up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cancel culture would destroy manhood. Like, for real. They would not let that game exist. Let's see. Have I played uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate? Nah, I have it. And I think I own it. I think I got a key for it or something like that. Or, or I got like a site where I get keys. I'll pay like a little monthly fee and um, just get games. You get like so many games every month. But I think I have it, but I never played it. That's the one that's a little different, right? It's not like the traditional one. Even the the graphics are like cell shade or something like that. Or it's more like a RTS. Got a different angle. I, I think I got it. I just never played it. See, have I played old Mortal Kombat? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember all the Mortal Kombats. Let's see, you playing Blood Money DLC, but it's whack. Ah, uh, man. It says about 70 feet out. Okay, Sleep says about 70 feet out. Yeah, no problem in here. Anytime, anytime. Make sure you stop back through. Check out the streams, man. Yeah, man, I used to love Mortal Kombat. I remember all the originals, all the old fatalities. I mean, I don't remember them like that no more, but I used to have them memorized. We used to battle at Mortal Kombat. Uh, let's see, 70 feet, okay. Yeah, again, my here, no problem. Appreciate you stopping through, man. Come back, check out anytime. Hit that like button. If you're heading out, if you're jumping in, hit that like button, subscribe, share. Go on and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see when we go live with these streams. Our streams be lit. The streams be serious. They all the way up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, and the music, like my man always say, uh, check out the music too. My man, Papito B, he made them tracks. He helped produce some of the music that I got. You can check out Charles Macro, I Run The Game, if you want to support, man. I, I say, go listen to it. Let me know what you think, man. Just let me know what you think. Just check it out. Brock, what's up, Brock? How goes it? How goes it? What's up with you? Let's see, what do I play on? Um, I mainly play on PC right now. I do have my Xbox One and my PS4. I'm trying to, before the holidays hit and prices go back up, even though a sale or two will hit like Black Friday, I'm trying to go and get me an Xbox Series S so I can be uh, next gen. What well, they calling it current gen now. I'm going to still call it next gen to everybody got it. While it's still $1,000, that's still next gen. But I want a PS5, but it costs too much. I want an Xbox Series X, but since the S and the X are the same, just the S has less memory and less, uh, you know, and it don't have a disk drive, I'm going to get an S. I got to get next gen. That way, if I do get 2K, I can play it on next gen. They seem to have more on there, but yeah. Little Toe, what's going on, Little Toe? Hey, hey. Hey, what's up, Nicholas? What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. Using methods at Rocky Lake. You just caught a two-pound rainbow trout. Nice. Nice. That's what's up, Attack. Hey, I'm glad to know that the methods are working, man. Glad to know that the methods are working. That is what's up. I know I am not catching this dog on musky, man. I keep going for this musky. They, they, they tripping. Uh, let's see. The graphics are so good. 
uh, to using methods, caught the two-pound trout, nice. The graphics are so good. Uh, you mean what, on the PC or on another system, sleep? Yeah, what's going on, Brock? Look, man, glad you made it through the stream, man. I was going to try to go on a little earlier, earlier, man, but like I said, I had some work to do, and I was trying to take care of a few things around the house and edit some other video, even some game video, and so I ain't get on, man, but I'm glad you up, man. I know it's probably late where you at. Uh, let's see. Who's my favorite Mortal Kombat person? Ah, uh, man, I'm still a Sub-Zero fan. I like Sub-Zero and what's the dude's name? Sub Zero, uh, the the green Sub Zero. I'm about to call him Viper, but I don't think that's his name. Look, I'm I'm getting detached from from uh, Mortal Kombat, and I can't even remember all my characters. Sub Zero was Sindel kind of funky. Let's see, Melina. Uh, ain't it like a cyborg dude? Look, now you are gonna make me go look look it up. Gosh, I'm getting too detached, man. I ain't played enough. I used to be hard on Sub-Zero. Oh, uh, man, I used to go hard on uh, Mortal Kombat, man. We used to kill that game. Let's see who else. Because they added so many characters. Uh, let's see, Kung Lao. Um, who else we got? Jax is all right. I ain't played with Jax like that. I like Kung Lao. I like doing that one where you split. He split you in two. I'm trying to think of some of the newer ones. It's one newer cat that I like. I And I got the newest Mortal Kombat. Like, I got Mortal Kombat 10 or whatever they, whatever you want to call it. One of the latest ones, but I don't even play it. I don't even play it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What kind of PC do I have? Oh, I have... I mean, I got a decent rig. It's not the newest joint. It's, um, yeah, Quan Chi. Yeah, yeah, Cyrax, Quan Chi. Appreciate it, B. Reptile, that's my man. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, I got a decent rig. It's, uh, like I said, it's not super new because it's like the, the L1150, uh, 1154. It's like an i7. 6700 series you know they out there the 9000 series now mine's still a 6700 but i got a pretty good graphics card again it's still an older G gtx but it's like the 10 series so um it still do good business let's see nicholas hey man look if you want to throw me something nicholas i will get the pack if you want to uh throw a super chat there or something i get it <laughs> But pretty much a lot of what's in that golden pack, man, I already got. I have rides that are pretty comparable to it. So other than getting some of the gear and the swag. Hey, what's up, FaZe? What's going on? How it goes it? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. But if I got some extra money laying around, man, I might get it. And I had some extra change. If I get another pack anytime soon, it'll probably be going out to the rainforest. They say that uh, that rainforest or that blue crab, those supposed to be pretty good and pretty good money. Uh, let's see. Every time you play Mortal Kombat on the Genesis, it felt like you were hacking because you lost every two seconds. <laughs> hey, they get a little crazy, man. I know how you feel. Genesis does. Let me see why I want to park. I'm going to park right here, guys. And um, I wasn't able to catch this muskie again, man. This muskie is very elusive. But, yeah, I'm going to get ready to go ahead and uh, and shut it down. We done had a good stream. I'm going to go check on the family, check on my son. Uh, make sure everybody's good. Like I guess I hear him hollering. Smell like might be some dinner on the stove. Yeah, man. See if we can catch a couple pike while we do the uh while we while we do the peace outs. Uh let's see. What up, what up, what up, Dragon? What's going on? What up, what up with you? Welcome, welcome, man. Yeah, again, hope everybody is well, been well. 
Yeah, man, been a great stream, guys. Been a great stream. Um, Again, hit that like button for me. Subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Feed that algorithm for me, man. Um, I got a couple videos that's about to drop, but they car mechanic videos. They car mechanic videos, but check them out. Y'all let me know what you think about it, you know. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'm trying to work on some more uh, FP joints, some more hot spots and different things. Even though we cover a lot in the in the streams, um, I got to get some of them out. Just, you know, a little short, concise video that'll help folks, man. So, yeah, man. Let's see. Be safe. Good day. Hope you catch your fish on this last second. Me too. I'm throwing these rides out just to see if we catch anything. Uh, you can't do that on Nintendo. Genesis does. Let's see. Uh, ooh, it's a fun fact. The original Mortal Kombat only had gore in the Genesis. The more you know. Thank you for that fun fact, B. Yes. When Mortal Kombat dropped, it was on the Genesis originally. They had the blood. When Mortal Kombat 2 dropped, and it also dropped on the Super Nintendo, Nintendo censored the blood. They turned it green or some like whack color. Sega stuck true to their roots and kept the blood in the game. That's a gamer fact. Let's see. Smoke and Noob are your favorite. You know all they moves. Yeah, Smoke. I like Smoke, too. I like Smoke, too. Yeah. Toasty. <laughs> yeah, man. But, yeah, guys, again, man, like I said, we going to uh, get on up out of here. Um, definitely be streaming again Sunday, you know, unless something comes up. Uh, Sunday's the next stream, but y'all know how I do, man. I probably pop on Friday, pop on tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, might switch it up and do a car mechanic or um, a Green Hell. I have not streamed Green Hell yet. That game's so hard, man. That game is brutal. You talking about a brutal game. Green Hell is brutal. Trying to survive in that Amazon. Everything trying to kill you, man. Like, that game is brutal. But I might play that game, but uh, more than likely, I might switch it up with Car Mechanic if I switch it up tomorrow or Saturday, man. But, yeah, we'll definitely uh, get on, do some more fishing in the next couple of days. Like I say, look out Sunday, and we'll do that. And Sunday, I might do like I did last Sunday and do a really early stream, early for me, because I have to get up and do some work stuff. So since I'm already up. Might do a super early for you guys that's in different parts of the world. We can get together, and anybody who up, who on, can join. And then we'll still do a like a later or one that's more afternoon here for me, uh, for my crowd in, the, in my other time zones. And, again, everybody who want to come through, you know how you do. You can do both of them, man. Shout out, salute to everybody who supports. Shout out, salute to my members, man, my people who have supported and who've joined on YouTube. Uh, shout out to my Patreon. Shout out to everybody who do the super chat. Um, and again, salute to all my elite family, all of y'all, man. We appreciate it, man. It's been another fun one. Thank y'all once again. Peace and blessings, man. Hope y'all have a great weekend. It's Thursday, so it's Friday hits. If you got school, you got work, man, be safe. Um, you know what I mean? We send the prayers up for everybody. Hope your family is he healthy, happy, man. And, um, you know, y'all take care. And again, we will do it again. Peace and blessings. I am going to holler at y'all on the later on, all right? Oh, you got an Alienware PC? Look, ah, Alienware PC. I was going to get an Alienware laptop. I almost got an Alienware laptop. I actually got a different one. It's called the Predator. It's a big joint. That thing is huge. I got it through work, though, but it's a huge gaming PC. But, yeah, so we'll get up on that, guys. I will holler at y'all on the later on. Let's see, can you play Xbox for a stream one day? If I do, man, I'll be starting at ground zero. I'll have nothing. If I start on Xbox, look at that. We getting some good catches. One of these is going to be a trophy. If I start on Xbox, I'm going to be level one with nothing. Like, we'll literally be doing a tutorial and everything. So, if y'all want to see me start from nothing, I could probably get to about level five or ten in the stream. But I would literally have nothing. I'll be fishing with a telescopic ride, you know, at Lone Star Lake. Oh, we got a trophy. Nice, nice, nice. We're going out on a good note. Can we get two trophies? Can we get two trophies? But we'll see, man. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, one of these days, I'll definitely do that. If it's just starting out the start from the bottom level one series, or if it's, um, look at that, double trophies, baby. Double trophies, double trophies. Yeah, when I do the Xbox, if it's the just starting fresh series, I wanted to do an ad also make 
some edited videos with it, but I might just do it. It might be easier to just do it all on the stream. We'll just start and a certain day on the stream, maybe I play that other account. And um we'll we'll level up, maybe try to make it to level 20. I might just cuz level 40 going to take a long time. I might do it where we do a start from the beginning series and try to just go up to level 20. We could probably do that in a week or so. And then um do that on the Xbox, maybe do the same thing on the PS, maybe try a few different things or do the exact same thing. I don't know. See how fast we can get there and see what rides and see what our progression is, man. But yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. I just want everybody to still be uh, entertained if I have to start at level one. You know what I mean? But I know we come in here, we chat it up anyway, so it might still be good. So, yeah, we'll see. What's up, Slick Nick? Sick Nick. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Look, we just was about to shut it down, man. But uh, what's up? You got any questions? You got anything you want to uh, say with the fishing plan? You got any suggestions? You got questions. We still got some OGs in here. They can help you out if you're trying to figure some things out of the lake or if you were just stopping through, man. Welcome. Glad you made it. But uh, we have another stream, I was just saying, on Sunday. And we'll probably, we potentially going to have one uh, tomorrow, Friday or Saturday as well. Sometimes I hop in. But Sunday, the next schedule, man. So come back through. Thank you to everybody once again. We're going to get on up out of here. I'm going to holler at y'all because I will keep talking because I love being in here with y'all, man, doing this thing. So peace and blessings. Thank y'all for being another dope stream. I will holler at y'all on the later on, all right? Charles Macro, Fish and Planet. Salute to the Elite fam. Peace.